It's a pleasure to be here today. I flew all the way from the island of Anguilla, a very beautiful island in the Caribbean, uh, to speak to you about youth development and WordPress. So, what is what are youth? What is the definition of youth? Now, the United Nations has a definition of youth as persons from the age of 15 to 24. Um, whereas the the International Youth um, Business Foundation, they they uh, sorry. The Youth Business International recognizes youth as persons aged 18 to 35, which I prefer as a definition because as a 27-year-old, I still think I'm a youth. And I'm sure many of you in here still, you, you know, your definition might be a little different than that as well. Um, so what is youth business development? Youth business development is removing the barriers from, for entry for young persons so that they can become entrepreneurs. On that basis, we want them to be able to create businesses that can be profitable, that can be scalable, and that can also employ other young persons. Now what is WordPress? WordPress is an open source content management system that allows persons to build websites. It also assists them to make their dreams come true. And uh, it is also a tool that is used to remove barriers. So I, I like to see a correlation between youth development and WordPress on the basis of the freedom to create and also to remove barriers. So who am I? I had a lovely introduction earlier, but I have two businesses. The first I inherited from my father, which is a, pub, a publication, a tourism publication for my island. And I took that over in 2015 um, after he ran it for 25 years. And what I did with that along with my siblings was to develop a marketing company. And we have delved into uh, WordPress because we have our own web website, which hosts our, um, our magazine. And that really came about because a friend of mine who knew how to create WordPress um, sites just through tinkering, just through learning, like many of us here um, may have done, um, he introduced it to me and said, you know what, I think that you need a website. I think you need to have the magazine online and so forth. Um, and then from there, I, I added more things. And then I met another young, ma young man. He said that your website could be a little better. I think you need to add this and this. And from there, he assisted me to, uh, to develop the website to what it is today, which offers e-commerce solutions and also has a magazine online. And we do a lot of content generation and so forth. But I'm also the chairman of the Anglo Youth Business Foundation, which is there to remove the barriers of entry for young persons into business, which this talk is about. Um, but I would like for us to really look at the barriers of entry for young persons in business from the perspective of WordPress. Now, as it relates to WordPress and having websites in general, for persons in my community, it almost seems like a, a distant dream. Um, one of the main reasons for that is because uh, there is no way, uh, there were difficult ways of getting it to be monetized. Because at the end of the day, you still want to be able to make something out of the website that you have. Um, otherwise, it's just there for awareness and engagement. Uh, so, a little bit more about my island. It's located next to St. Martin. Most people know St. Martin. You can fly, you can fly into Angola from Miami as well. Uh, we have 15,000 people, and it's a British overseas territory. Continuing, so removing barriers with WordPress. WordPress has is the demo, demo, uh, democratized publishing, uh, the freedom to build, the freedom to change, the freedom to share. And the key benefits of WordPress is you can install um, and set up with no HTML coding, which I didn't really have any knowledge of. Um, it's cost effective because it's literally free, because it's open source. Um, you, it's SEO friendly, mobile responsive, which in today's world we are all in, um, mobile users. Everyone has a mobile phone. Um, it's globally accessible. There are over 54,000 plugins that can do anything your heart desires, and you can even make it into what your heart desires as well, even if it's not necessarily um, built for that. And also the ability to create blogs. Now, removing barriers to entry for youth in business. Um, with the Anglo Youth Business Foundation, there are three co core things that we want to, to remove. Uh, the barrier to entry for training of young persons 
in business, uh, removing uh, the issue of having mentors to teach you how to uh, have um, their own business and also access to financing. So as it relates to WordPress, um, WordPress addresses some of these things because there's a community like this that allows you to have mentorship. So that's a very important part of it. It's free and for young people who don't really have any access to income, they don't make any money, um, it's important to allow you to go on and tinker, much like myself when I started, and learn about the, the, the ability to have a website. And also uh, financing, I, I did mention that, and it's free. Many of the plugins, there are free versions, there are premium versions, and you can walk your way up until the point that you can actually uh, pay for WordPress and all the great features that there are. Um, however, in smaller countries like my own, uh, we face different kinds of, of barriers to entry than most people in bigger countries because there are um, very fundamental features that we, would, uh, we wouldn't pay any importance to because when, you, when, you, when you're born here or you grow up here, uh, you can start a website tomorrow and probably start making money directly from that website because you know the banks and all those other financial institutions have relationships with um, the plugins and with developers and so forth to make it a reality. Whereas from my experience, I, I had about five to six years just trying to find a way to, uh, to make money on my website. I tried PayPal, I tried other options. But because the financial institutions in my country did not have that relationship, it was very difficult for me to do so. But I had big dreams. I had lots of big dreams for that website. And so um, as a content creator and as someone who's an entrepreneur who has all these dreams and stuff, it, it, was, it was daunting and it could even make you want to give up. So WordPress and new development. WordPress is built around the same objectives of institutions that promote youth business development. Removing barriers through training, mentorship, and, and capital. So with WordPress, youth can learn by doing. They own their own content. They have a safe environment, especially as it's youth. You know, we want to ensure that their um, data is safe, they, there's privacy, and you know, that they, they have an environment that um, they won't suffer from bullying all, and all of these issues that we see around the world. Uh, they can share all of the content that they have, photos, videos, long and short text, and they can be paid for their content, they can sell merchandise, and they can create a business or create a career. Uh, now, as it relates to sharing all kinds of content, yes, there's social media, we have TikTok, we have Facebook, Instagram, you name it. There's a wide array of uh, platforms where you can share content, but is that content really your own? That is a question. Are the people that you're engaging with really your own? And that is one of the things that WordPress allows people to have. They allow, it allows them to have ownership of their audience and ownership of their content. Whether it's posted on YouTube, they can always embed it on their website, or they can also host it on their website as well, that same content. And that, that is a very important part of, of WordPress. So who are the next generation of content creators? The content creation industry is now estimated to be worth more than $400 billion, according to a 2021 article published by Content Hacker. The next generation of content creators are skilled in using their smartphones, uh, in creating viral content from those, using those same smartphones. They're marketing gurus at what they do for the products that they endorse and even the products that they own. And for, uh, further examples of this include bloggers, online publishers, newsletter authors, podcasters, YouTubers, course um, creators, and so much more. There are also new technologies that are on the rise. Many of us have heard about blockchain and NFTs, and for many that is still a daunting um, area to really delve into, but WordPress has solutions for that. And it is providing the opportunity, as I said, for us to own our content. So like I said earlier, WordPress has plugins that can make all your dreams come true, and if it's not there yet, it can be developed. And the, the plugins that are there are also so versatile that you can you know, manipulate them to the direction that you find is best for you. 
So like I said, my personal experiences with WordPress, I had a dream of um, having a publication online. Um, a, a friend helped me to create my first website. Then another friend came in and helped me to build that website more. Um, and, and then I, I added more plugins and I learned by doing and I read and I went on YouTube, I engaged with the community as well and that has really boosted me to become the person I am today and to be standing here as well. So like I, I learned how to do SEO, um, we had a blog as well and all of this added to, to the, the wealth and the, um, the functionality of that website. But like I said, we are missing the, the ability to accept payments. So in today, well, within the past nine months, we, we got that ability. And that was very, a very exciting time for me. And I would say that the way that that occurred was just because one developer, one local developer, found a way to, to work with a financial institution locally to create a, a plugin that could work between my website and, our, and the financial institution. And I was able to, to make money through that. Um, and so, Today now I have two businesses, um, the other one is a tour operator, and we allow people to pay us online. And that might sound very, it's, it's a small thing, it's a drop in the bucket, it's a regular thing for everyone else. But for developing countries, there are a lot of things, a lot of, of um, potential and, and, and growth that is there, but you know, we need the connections, we need persons who know how to develop, we need access. And that's what WordPress is about. Um, so I mentioned monetizing, so using AdWords, um, using online ticket sales, online stores, native, native advertising, all of these things are very common to everyone here, but it's not necessarily common for us. So uh, barriers faced by small countries, small developing countries, other barriers would be internet speeds. You know, whenever we get a slow internet speed, that is something that really frustrates us. I'm very sure of that. And especially if you're a content creator who has to upload big videos, uh, HD videos and, and photos and so forth, it, it's very daunting and it causes you to move away from those directions. Those barriers cause you from really uh, expanding on those opportunities that you have available to you. Um, and then, so within my country with COVID-19, because you couldn't go anywhere, they really opted now to try and get everything online, so e-payments and so forth. And these are things that are very common everywhere. So you know, we're, we're getting in, into the groove of it, we're removing those barriers, and things are happening. So in conclusion, WordPress is a very powerful tool. It provides young business persons opportunity to really realize their dreams and to grow businesses and have the potential to, to make money from them. Um, youth business development is centered around removing those barriers and WordPress is equally the same. It removes barriers and it, it, it provides a freedom to uh, realize the dreams that you have. Some youth, especially those in small developing countries, may not be able to really go into the directions of what we would think of the next uh, generation of, of WordPress, um, WordPress persons would, would be going into, content creators would be going into. However, um, that is a new direction for them. Whereas in countries um, like America and those other larger countries, that's, uh, that's not the case. So my final point, uh, the future of content creators is WordPress, where youth can own their content and create profitable businesses. Thank you very much for your time, and it's a pleasure being here.